we have gone through our first strategic exercise and uh, resulting from the strategic exercise, what we are doing now is a branding exercise. Um, we think that Lake Bluff is a terrific community, um, but we live here and perhaps we're drinking Kool-Aid. Um, so we, what we want to find out is what is the perception of the community from the outside? Because if we are to sell the community, and what I mean by selling the community, you know, having residents you know, purchase, I mean, having people purchase houses to become resident or having business people come into the community, I, 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 we want to make sure that we put our best foot forward. So um, uh, we are going to engage in a branding exercise for the village of Lake Bluff. So this is the past. So now let's talk about the future. Um, I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. And um, uh, we have seen many good things happen in Lake Bluff, but there's a, a few things that um, keep me up at night, or, or not keep me up at night, but if I wake up, prevent me from going back to sleep. Um, and, and it goes this way. There's the good, uh, there's the bad, and there's the ugly. Uh, the good is that our financial strength is much better than most community in the country. Uh, I think that yesterday, Scranton, Pennsylvania filed for bankruptcy. Well, that was maybe the day before. Every day, somebody filed for bankruptcy, municipality, a county, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to talk about the federal budget, but um, we can like Greek. Um, we just have a lot of money, that's all, or still access to a lot of money. We have a terrific amount of volunteers at every stage in the village. Volunteers for a community at large, volunteer for village government. Uh, those volunteers are essential. Uh, the bike race um, initially was one of our business person. Um, they're thoughtful, they're visionary, they're energetic, and most importantly, they're irreverent. And in, in the sense that they do not hesitate to voice their discontent, to add their voice to the debate. Um, a, a, probably an example of this would be uh, when we put the new school in Lake Bluff. Um, I'd looked at the plan for the new school and, and there was an approval through the village process. And I looked at the playground and I thought everything was copacetic. What I did not realize is that I went to school in Paris. So my, my, my playground in Paris, you can imagine, not far from the Eiffel Tower, was maybe the size of this room with uh, two or three trees in the middle. So I thought the playground space at the Lake Bluff Middle School, uh, not the middle school, the uh, central school, was, was plentiful. And I get this phone call and it started like this. I want to talk to you. Did you look at this plans? Yes, I did, I did. Uh, yeah, I don't see. Did you see anything wrong? And then that was the beginning of the conversation. So what I mean is that the volunteers are very willing to uh, share, um, I'm being polite, um, a, a, and, and, and add to the debate. Finally, we have very professional staff. Um, um, Drew is not here. Uh, uh, we, sent him, we sent him to Harvard. Uh, there is a, a municipal executive program there. Uh, we hope that um, when he comes back, he still talks to us. Uh, but we have a great staff. They're professional, they're service oriented, they're quite qualified, and, and most of all, they're very nimble. They can do anything. So they get grants, they, get their, they, they have IDs, et cetera, et cetera. The bad. Real estate market is still soft. There's a lot of real estate people here, you know about that. One of the problem is the real estate taxes that we pay in the village. Um, and, 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 and the dirty little secret is that the real estate taxes is a function of the service that the residents are demanding, not necessarily the politicians. 
If you think about it, Lake Bluff has 5,700 people. We have a pool and a park district. We have our own school up to grade eight. We have our own library. We have our own police department. We have our own fire department. And this is rather unusual for a small town. And even though the fire department is very cheap, I have to say that because Steve is sitting over there and uh, he'll kill me otherwise. He's one of those volunteers that is irreverent. Um, a, 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 a pumper truck is 600 grand. If uh, we were living in Canada, we could not have a police department if you have less than 50,000 people. And if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. So uh, next is that we have an aging population. I'm looking at a lot of you guys, and you're fairly representative of our demography. 55% of the population <laughs> in Lake Bluff, and that includes me, is 50 years old or older. Um, so that worries me because our volunteers, some of our volunteers are getting old and, 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 and we need a constant, you know, replenishment. Uh, the price of real estate in Lake Bluff um, is, is, is high and the taxes are high and, and, and what this does is that it limits the, the, the access for young family to Lake Bluff. I, th I moved to Lake Bluff, I had a one-year-old kid, I, I don't think I could afford my house. And, and, and that is a problem as far as long-term sustainability. Our housing stock is not diversified and does not correspond to our demography. Um, the, the, the building boom of the last decade eliminated a lot of small property, and I was just having a conversation um, uh, with somebody. A, a, there's very little small housing option, and if, if, if the majority of your residents want to downsize this option, does not exist. Um, I also think that we are suffering from what's happening with the economy in general. It's the age of deliberate, del I'm sorry, I'm a French person, it is a hard word to say, but uh, everybody has been highly leveraged, uh, consumers, government, municipalities, etc., cetera, and, and now everybody is on a sort of, uh, not saving pattern, but less spending. And, and, and even though we like to think that we're somewhat is isolated from this national trend, they affect us. Um, so I foresee slow growth, and we see this in the uh, sales tax picture, uh, the building permit, okay? Uh, I'm told that uh, I have to cut it off, so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, a, 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 the ugly is the pension crisis. I'm gonna give you some numbers. I want you to think about this. Uh, I believe in numbers. Um, we have a police department. We have 13 active employees, 13 retiree or people on disability or people that are dead but we are paying pension to their widows. Uh, you don't have to have a degree in finance or actual, uh, actual mathematics to know that this is unsustainable. Um, uh, there's 3% automatic call every year. As of this year in the budget, we're going to put $625,000 toward the pension plan, and that is 55% of the peril for the police department. We are not factoring health benefits. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is why it's nice to have your own police department, but they're very expensive. Uh, Governor Walker stayed carefully away from police and fire department for that reason. Um, so, do I have a, any solution to the pension crisis? No, but I have a word of advice for my uh, successors. When you're sitting at a negotiation table and you're bargaining, you have to pay up front. When you promise a benefit in the future, uh, uh, you don't know what you're getting into. It is very difficult to predict financial trends. Um, uh, uh, it is difficult to predict, I mean, you know, the, the, the return in the market in the last decade was not particularly good. Um, so you don't know what you're getting into. Uh, uh, plus, it's easy to give away the future, but when the future gets here, it's difficult to pay. So in conclusion, I uh, 
since Joanna said I should stop, I will stop. Uh, but uh, I want to thank you for listening to me, and I'll take whatever question you may have. Yes? water supply if the drought continues. We're cool. 55, uh, we have capacity for 55 million gallons. No, 50, yeah, 55 million gallons a day. And, and uh, we have not come next to this. Yes? Perhaps I should know this, the Shepherd Chevrolet site, what, what's the thing going on there? We have had some nimbles, but uh, nothing uh, very specific right now. You know, we like to put something with serious sales tax. Um, we love sales tax, but. Right. Yes? The no intersection um, progress. Uh, <laughs> well, it, it, we don't even know how much redoing that intersection would cost. We sort of estimated it would be around $20 million, but that's an old estimate, so it's probably 22 by now. Um, we need federal money. We need state money. There's no money at the federal level, no money at the state level, nothing. Now, what is going to happen is that uh, by Pasquese, we'll have yet another red light on Waukegan, uh, that we have the money, we get the grant, uh, we get the work, uh, and, and it, surprisingly enough, the bid that we got on it is about a quarter million dollar less than what we'd budgeted. So we found 250 grand that is going to go to the police pension. Um, I think we'll move. We'll move on. All right. Christine, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christine.